We'll guide you through how to get Rocket League in Steam. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So you can no longer go and get Rocket League from the Steam store, but don't worry, you can still go and get it in Steam. So what we need to do is first of all, go and download Rocket League on our computer. To do that, you'll need something called Epic Games. It's similar to Steam, it's another game launcher and game store. Come to the store, once you've gone and got the Epic Games app on your computer, you can go and download it online. You can go and search for Rocket League like so, and then here it is, you can see it's free. I've already got it installed, but you can go and download it and install it. Then come to a library to the left and go and find Rocket League. Go to the right and click on the three dots and go and click on manage. And then find installation and go over to the right and go and click on the folder icon. And we can open up the install location and your file explorer will open up. In here, you need to go into binaries and then win64. And in here, you need to go and scroll down and go and find the Rocket League application, which is just this here. Now go to the top of File Explorer and go and click on the file, file path here and just click on it and then right click and go and press copy. We're gonna need this. Now come back to Steam and come to your library, come to the bottom and click on add a game and click on add a non-Steam game. Then you can go and click on browse in the bottom left here, like so, and your File Explorer will open up. Now click in the file path at the top here and you can then go and remove what's currently in there, right click and press paste. And that's the path, press enter. And then here is rocketleague.exe. Go and click on open. When you click on open, it should then be added to this list here and you can click on add selected programs. And that's it, you've now got it and added it in Steam. You can click on it and click on play. This is super useful to do as you can then keep your games all together in your Steam library.